Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post on leadership. Most of my clients who are senior or emerging leaders in organizations come to me looking for something specific. They're trying to improve or shift the way they behave in the workplace to become better leaders. And last week I talked about soft skills and the importance of soft skills. And I gave you some stats, which I thought were very, very telling stats in terms of the importance of soft skills and how, <coughs> excuse me, how new graduates out of professional schools coming out of those schools view soft skills versus how the executives in organizations view soft skills. And if you remember, there were a couple of um, stats that I gave you that were quite startling. One was that 69% of new grads from professional schools believe soft skills got in the way of them doing a good job. And 70% of those same students or those same grads believe that the lack of, that, that they believe that tech skills or more important, were more important than soft skills. They felt that tech skills were much more important than soft skills. However, if you ask leaders or executives in companies, 91% of those leaders believe that employees with refined soft skills advanced faster, that they did a better job. And that 85% of those executives, even though they saw tech skills as important and necessarily they saw soft skills as that thing that set people apart or set individuals apart. Now, it was interesting when I opened up my blog post this morning and that I received and saw there was an article, somebody was commentating on another article on some other research that was done recently by IBM and their Institute for Business Value. Um, and what they did was they surveyed just under 5,700 executives from over 48 countries. And they were looking at what are the skills that executives need to execute business strategies. And as they were looking at that and they, they were studying it, one of the things they found was yes, even though there was an emphasis on that, there was also this really em interesting emphasis on behavioral or soft skills. In fact, in many cases, it was the highest priority. Uh, and of the 12 individual technical behavior skills identified throughout this um, project, and I'm going to give the details for, of the study at the end of this uh, video, so you can take a look at it if you like yourself. They, so there were of the 12 technical and behavior skills identified through the research, executives actually placed the a highest priority on these four. And I've written them down because I didn't want to lose them. These were the four that rated highest. The willingness to be flexible or agile and adapt to change. So their ability to make changes when they needed to. That was the first one. The second one was time management skills and the ability, the ability to prioritize. The, th the third one was the ability to work effectively in a team environment, which is kind of interesting, I thought, because yes, coming out of school, you're focused on studying, you're focused on doing your work, but I know more and more schools are introducing a team approach to learning. So you think, you know, so there is some value, some people seeing that and valuing that and giving uh, students the opportunity to take, use a team approach. I know in the courses I was teaching on leadership, I used uh, set people in teams and had them do teamwork together. And finally, the last one, the fourth one was the ability to communicate effectively, which of course, those of you who have followed me over the last uh, number of years know that that's a big, the big one for me is how we're communicating with one another. Now, this last week, I started working with a brand new client, and she came to me because she had been specifically told by her superiors that she was lacking in soft skills. That there was one area that she needed to work on was the soft skills. Now, this woman has a, an engineering background, is highly technical from an engineering standpoint, but she's in a, pro, uh, a place where she needs to communicate, she needs to be empathetic, she needs to be able to put across her ideas. And in fact, she had been demoted in a previous job because of those shortfalls. So she found me on the internet 
uh, we had some conversations and she's uh, now hired me to help her stretch to build to develop those soft skills and as I say it's almost like a muscle the more you practice them the more you learn to use them the better you become so maybe you're interested in that yourself maybe that's a particular challenge for yourself and you'd like to learn more feel free to connect with me you'll find my contact information on these posts um, and just you know I just have a conversation with me uh, no obligation whatsoever I do offer a 30 minute uh, discovery conversation uh, complimentary or again, add some comments at the bottom of this video, at the bottom of this post, and I'll respond to you. So again, thank you for watching this week, and we hope to see you again next week.